Okay, I picked this time flyer up on eBay for very cheap. Because one, the piece is missing here, which I have a part ordered for it. And you can see all the scuff marks on it. So I'm going to be trying to clean those up. Possibly doing a little touch up. Now, trigger thing still works. I don't know if the batteries work because I don't have any batteries for it. And batteries that were in there did leak. So, I don't know if that's even going to work. And you can see this part here is lo it's loose. So, and this screw won't tighten down. Just get, it'll just turn. So, I may have to find a larger screw and replace that screw. And I have to, I did actually have to push in the pin a bit on, on that one. I'll do that now. So, yeah. The pins were out too far. And I don't know what this button is supposed to do. I'm going to have to do some research, find out exactly what everything is supposed to do. These here look like buttons, but they don't work. Don't nothing happen. These look like they're supposed to pop out, but they nothing happens there. So have to find a, someone who's got a working one. Overall, it look it works. And yeah. slide out, come in. And lightning collection does fit on here on here, which is why I got these this and these come up so I can have all the when they do have all the make put out all the lightning collection figures and I can have them on here I'm going to wait and wait to put the red, red lightning uh, time force range around here because uh, for when it's off fixed up. Which I'm gonna show right now. All right, so here's my time jet all painted up and cleaned up. You can see no mark, uh, except for what I ended up putting on there with paintbrush by accident. But no, none of the major marks that were there are there. Some of them, eh, some of them are still there, but mostly you don't notice them anymore. But I got this all painted up, all these panel lines. Got the replacement gun. Which I painted up to look like it is in the show. Oh. And I just painted in a seat just because I think felt someone should look be there. Now I didn't actually, I don't have any batteries in it because 
it didn't work you know gonna do a try and do a repair on that first let's show off how this looks now And I painted these things, everything, to look show accurate. And I know you type thing, but uh, they use the toys in the show, so I'm going by a specific. I'm going by a specific scene for show accuracy. Got the, uh, running lights there, red and green, yellow running light. Green right there red right there and the scene now the scene I'm using is this one right here And here is a red light and a red time force ranger. That's in a standing position on it. And let me take the weapons off out of his hands here. So and you can't use the pegs on here, but the handholds at work. He's got to position him correctly. There we go. And then you can just properly put, place, place the feet. So, and yeah, the little gold touches in here. But bend the knees like that. hand in there so you got that going on now and it does sit perfectly fine and put it in there and as you can see I did add a touch of gold in here and Finish off this black striping. Now, let's see if I can't get the electronics working. Now I did kind of mess up here because I glued this section in here because it was, uh, this part was not sitting flush, so I glued that in. But I didn't because I didn't anticipate even trying to take it apart, which was probably a mistake. I should have waited to do that before I to, after I made just check the batteries. So now I'm gonna have to pry it open and then re glue. So. Yeah. 
And I'm setting these in a all in a specific spot here. Now I know which which ones are going to be for which side. Oh yeah, I also try putting glue down in this here to tight to help tighten the screw. Got two more here. Oh, four more. <laughs> oh, so it looks like I don't have to worry about the wings. Part of the, these parts here. So, bonus. Uh, yeah, I do have to worry about it. Should be. Yeah. Because I glued this in, and not now this piece isn't going to come out right away. Right. There we go. Popping out now. Alrighty. Okay, let's see here. So this is how it looks in here. So I'm looking to see what the problem is. And I don't see it. I thought maybe there's corrosion. On these parts here, but like, maybe there's a little. Looks like someone maybe took it into a bathtub at some point or something. Or had submerged it in water. <laughs> this is an impression I'm getting from these little spots here. Let me uh, take this piece off and...
two. So what am I looking at here? Mm -hmm. Seems okay here. Let me, uh, put a couple batteries in here. Aha, working. So, something must have been loose that probably. That's good. So, there's that. At least I got that going working. Too bad I don't I can't figure out the sound. Might be the speaker is no good. So I got time jet working. Sort of. That's it. That's my custom up and time jet. Thanks for watching.